I would like to apologize in advance for looking like trash today. What is up guys, it's Jay by the way back again with another video and I'm so happy to be back on the YouTubes again. I recently just came back from a road trip from Texas and I was planning on doing like a travel vlog um, or like a road trip vlog for you guys, but I ended up not vlogging at all. Here I am uh, doing another haul for you guys and I know some of you guys may not like hauls and some people are thinking like all he ever does is hauls on his channel. But that might be the case. I'm going to try to work on different videos for you guys, but uh, I don't have the time to work on and brainstorm another video. Here's my little haul that I got from Daiso, and I hope you guys enjoy. Basically, if you guys don't know what Daiso is, it's like a dollar store, but it's like a Japanese dollar store. So basically, everything's $1.50 instead of a dollar. Products there are so much more better than what you would get at an actual dollar, like a Dollar Tree or anything like that. And the first things I got was this alpaca tote. I really don't know why I got it. I just, you know, it's really cute. It has an alpaca and then it's like its butt is on the back of it. I just thought that was pretty dope. And I could wear it, I could take it to school if I wanted to, if I really did. Or if I'm like going to like a cafe or something to go study with my friends, I can just bring this instead of lug my whole backpack with me. Another good find that I found at Daiso was this paper trimmer. Usually these paper trimmers go upwards of like five to ten dollars and even more than that. Found this at Daiso for only two dollars and I know that everything at Daiso is a dollar fifty but this was two dollars so that's just that's fine with me. These paper cutters that people pay a lot for these. I also got a pack of sticky notes. These are just small uh, colored it comes with pink orange yellow blue and purple I use this a lot when I'm studying in my textbooks or looking at a I don't know reading something I can just stick this on the side refer to it back on another day I don't know I got this vinyl pouch and I actually went to Michael's today and I saw that they had a very similar pouch like this but it was selling for like three dollars <laughs> if you guys go to Daiso just grab this because Goals is selling the same product, literally the same products for more. So I would go ahead and grab this if you guys were interested. I also picked up these watercolor painting brushes and I hear a lot of good things about this. Also the watercolor set, the paint set. Um, I watched a YouTuber, her name is Pear Fleur, do a review of these and she did a really good job explaining it. So if you guys do want to see that video, I'll link it in the description box below just does a lot of watercolor painting videos and she's just really cool and I just think like the packaging is so dope the watercolors have like Japanese lettering on it Japanese font and stuff I just thought that's cute uh, watercolor brushes or these brushes in general are, are the game changers since they are $1.50 you these are like like Michael's quality starter brushes that's pretty cool how like they sell these for a dollar fifty and you get five brushes and they work really well so i got two of those actually i also picked up some sheet masks i got uh, i think like six or seven of them and i got mud flavors i guess i got the mud flavor lemon and then green tea a paper cutter i don't know why i got this it's just one of those things that you just see and you're just like, I should just grab that because it's only $1.50. For the packaging, not gonna lie, like this is so cute and that's why I grabbed it. Also, I got two correction tapes. A lot of cute sticky notes from there are these ones. So sticky tabs, these are Japanese like ninjas and stuff. And I also got this sticky notes. It has an alpaca and like three cactuses. The alpaca is not really cute, but this, this, this one is. And continuing off of sticky notes, I got these craft paper sticky notes. Brown craft paper, but they're sticky notes and they're really cool because you can use this a lot when you're bullet journaling. Just got three of them because I know I'm going to be using this one a lot, especially because it's it looks like craft paper. I'll usually be using this a lot in my future bullet journaling videos. I also picked up mechanical pencils. I already tried these out. The lead is not the best. But I really like the overall look of the pencil. It's clear 
and then the tip is white use like big lead or something like that that's also 0.7 and just put that in there instead of use clear lead because these pencils still work but it's just not the best i also got a yellow pencil case i don't think i'm actually going to use this as a pencil case but it has three compartments a mesh one and then two side pocket or one side pocket and then a really big one i'm gonna find a way to instead of actually like put pencils in there and stuff like that but i grabbed that black washi tape and i got pilot friction pens they sell these at daiso surprisingly i i didn't even know they sold them here one in green pink and yellow and then two black ones and they all erase so they're pretty cool tip on the black Friction pens are just so good. They write really well. These friction pens are really vibrant, so I like that. I got decoration glue tape. This one, this glue tape is really similar to my Tombow glue tape. Uh, I'm just gonna try this out and see if I like it. If I don't, then that's fine. It was only $1.50. But if it is, it might be a gold mine because Tombow glue tapes are really expensive in the $8 area. If these are only $1.50, I can just stock up on these the next time I go to Daiso. One of the last things I got from Daiso were these brush pens. These are kind of like highlighter brush pens and I think they're really dope. They write really well. Really should have gotten more because these are so vibrant. The color, the pigment is just on point. The nib is felt tip so they won't wear out as easily. For $1.50, that's not bad at all considering you get three brushed pens and the performance of these pens are just amazing. So I also got stuff from Muji as well. I'm just gonna kind of zoom through this. The first thing I got was these, the 12 pack Muji assorted colors gel pens and they come in 0.5. Picked that up because I already had like a 12 pack of the black pens and I really like them. So I wanted to get the black ones or I wanted to get the colored ones because they're really nice i got two pencil cases one is just this clear they're both clear actually this one's just one compartment and this one has two might use the two compartment more because it's bigger and then the second part compartment i can put like gum washi tape or something like that that'll fit in there and then pens on the other side i got two pencils just two mechanical ones i really like these the lead is really good on these they're 0.5 millimeter they just have a clear body. I got two uh, black ones. They're the 5mm notebooks in the B they're the B5 notebooks. So they have the grids in them. And then I have a little mini one as well. I just got these. I already have some in my backpack right now. So I have backups. These daily, I got these daily sticky notes from Muji as well. But these ones just have Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on them. They come with 35 sheets. Yeah, I don't know what I'm really going to use this for since I have a different sticky note for the monthly overview. I thought this was something good to have if I wanted to plan something out um, ahead of time. This is the one that I really like the most from Muji were these monthly uh, sticky tabs. So basically, it has the whole monthly spread. They're blank so you can fill them in. I just think this is good if you guys don't want to like draw out your monthly overview you can just stick this on and then it's already done and you don't have to measure or anything like that it comes with one pack comes with 13 sheets so you're good for a whole two years and then the last things i got were checklists so this one's just a blank one this one's just one without a tab at the top and then the other one has a tab they come in green blue and yellow just thought this is really good for organizing things. You can put that, at, put them at the top of your bullet journal. You'll be able to like go straight to that page in your bullet journal, see what that things that you need to get done or things that you need to purchase or something like that, and then just have them ready. So that is it for my Daiso and Muji haul. So if you guys do want to see more videos like this, give me a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.